Hey guys, so I'm going to read our last two chapters in the early reader chapter Marvel Superhero Adventures Sand Trap uh, with Spider-Man, Squirrel Girl, and Sandman. Um, hope you've enjoyed the book so far. And obviously you can see my reading buddy Stitch is here. He's getting antsy because he wants me to pet him the whole time. So we left off at chapter 11. Officer Stanley shoveled the last of the mud caked Sandman into an extra, extra large Ziploc bag. I mean, who needs the attendance monitor to show up on time? The Sandman asked her. Isn't it the kids who can't be late? I don't think I should have to be fired for that. Officer Ditko sealed the plastic bag shut. The Sandman's sweater got caught in the zipper. The pullover got caught in the zipper. The pullover went poof, leaving Officer Ditko covered in sand. Everywhere, the policeman sighed. Thanks for the help. Sandman and Squirrel Girl, Officer Stanley said. She loaded the bag and tagged Sandman into the police van. No thanks necessary, Spidey replied. We don't do it for the applause. No need for a sanding ovation. Just then, the children from the playground came running towards Spider-Man and Squirrel Girl. They were cheering. They were clapping. They were shouting for joy. Well, maybe just this once, Spidey said. He held out his arms. Squirrel Girl prepared for high fives. The children ran up to them and zoomed right past them for the ice cream truck that had finally arrived. At least they have their priorities straight, Squirrel Girl said. To thank you for your help and protecting the park, may I buy you a cone, Spider-Man? What kind of ice cream do you like? Vanilla? Chocolate? Coffee? Definitely not coffee, he replied. I'm actually more of a tea man myself. Spider-Man froze. Tea, he thought. He was late for Aunt May's tea party. Squirrel Girl, I'm sorry to fight crime and fly, but I'm an hour past late for something really important, he explained. Can I take a rain check on that celebration? Sure thing, bug boy, Squirrel Girl said. You're welcome in Central Park any time, right, Tippy Toe? Tippy Toe agreed. Spider-Man gave Central Park's pr protector and her squirrely sidekick a nod. Then he took to the skies. Chapter 12. Peter Parker started, stared at the, his front door. In one hand, he held his house keys. In the other hand, he held a carton of milk. He took a deep breath and unlocked the door and went inside. Aunt May, he called, I'm back. There was no response. All the lights in the house were out except for those in the kitchen. He could hear water running. He followed the sound Aunt May was cleaning the last of the teacups in the sink. She set it to dry along the others, alongside the others. She turned off the water. I brought the milk, Peter said. He did not look at Aunt May. Instead, he looked at his feet. Thank you, Peter, Aunt May said. We can use it for breakfast tomorrow. Peter looked up. Tomorrow? He asked, but the tea party is over, she said. Anna and her niece left early. Peter's face flushed red. If only he could tell Aunt May he was Spider-Man. She would understand why he was late. With the milk, and he wouldn't have to feel so guilty. Then Peter had an idea. While he couldn't tell Aunt May that he was superhero, he could tell her that being late wasn't his fault. 
You know, Peter said, I would have been back with the milk right away, but I ran into a friend who needed my help. I couldn't say no because she was really in a sandy, I mean, sticky problem uh, and was solved and it got even bigger. Uh, how was I supposed to know that was going to ha happen? Peter stopped talking. His words reminded him of ones he had heard earlier. They sounded like the words the Sandman had used to excuse him for his bad behavior. Peter went to Aunt May and took her hand. But none of that matters, Aunt May, he said. There's no excuse for missing the tea party. And there's no excuse for not bringing you the milk when I said I would. I'm sorry I ruined your day. Phew, excuse me. I hope you can forgive me. Aunt May hugged her nephew. Thank you, Peter, she said. I accept your apology. I am proud of you for taking responsibility. The end. All right, so there's one more little thing I want to share with you, okay? There's a really cool comic strip at the end, all right? So all these early reader uh, Marvel chapter book superheroes have a comic strip. So I know it's probably hard for you guys to read, so I will read the comic strip for you guys, okay? Um, so up in our first cell, so this is Spider-Man and Sandman Order Up. So... Sandman says, welcome to Sandy's Sandwiches. What can I get you, Spider-Man? Spider-Man says, let's see. Can I get a turkey sandwich on rye with lettuce, tomato, bacon, cheddar cheese, and extra mustard? Sandman says, coming right up. And then the next cell over here. Okay. Says, Sandman says, there you go, Spider-Man. Your turkey sandwich on rye with lettuce, tomato, bacon, cheddar cheese, and extra mustard. Spider-Man says, thank you. Down here. He's chewing. <laughs> he spits it out. Wonder why. What do you think of a, your sandwich? Uh-oh. It could have used more mustard. <laughs> So, obviously, Sandman puts sand in his sandwiches. <laughs> a funny joke. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the book, our Marvel Superhero Sandwiches. I hope you guys are all doing well. And my little guy is here to say goodbye to all of you. Say bye, Stitch. <laughs> all right. And I'll be starting a new book tomorrow. Uh, I haven't picked it out yet, um, but I hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope to see you guys soon and you're staying well. Bye.